and welcome back to the EACC Hive. Um, my name's Ailey, as I'm sure you already know, as you must have tuned into our last two episodes. And with me today, we have the lovely Zoe. Zoe has been described by her co workers as a stats hero, lovely, kind, inspiring, hilarious, and fabulous. And she definitely is fabulous. Welcome, Zoe. Have you had a good day so far? Yes. Quite busy, but good. Stats hero, I'll take that. (laughs) (laughs) I I thought that was fabulous. Um, (laughs) And have you managed to make or flip any pancakes this week? Yes, yes, we have. We have videos going up on TikTok later today. Um, We flipped pancakes for a few hours last night. (laughs) Well... If you want to see those videos, I'll put the link to the TikTok um, on this video and you can click on and have a wee look at the pancake flipping success. I'm going to say, Zoe, I'm going to say success. That's maybe a wee okay. bit presumptuous. We'll go with that. <laughs> <laughs> of course, success. Okay, so last week I had Nicole and Brittany on and we did two challenges. We did two truths and a lie uh, and the twisted quiz. This week it's your turn to take on the challenge. Do you feel ready? Yes, totally ready. I love that. Um, So so, so today, rather than having two challenges, we're going to only have one. As people of the hive, you must know by now that Zoe is a massive Friends fan. The biggest Friends fan I think I've ever met. And I've met a lot of fans, but none as big as Zoe. I once had a tour of all of her different Friends objects that she has in her house. They are many. Uh, you can see, see a few in the background there. So today, Zoe, we're going to do a mastermind fringe challenge with you. I'm going to ask okay. you some questions about things and we'll see if you can get them all right. I've got 15 here. So okay. a lot to get through, but I'm sure that you've got it in the bag. So here we'll we go. See, we'll see. Dramatic music. Drum roll, please. Question number one. What was Ross's comic book call, called that Phoebe stole from him? Science boy. What is Ross allergic to? Shellfish. Mm, I don't think what it's... is Janice's maiden name? Oh, I don't know her maiden name. Begins with an H. No, I don't think I know it. Right, okay. Um, five, what was Friends originally meant to be called? No, don't know that either. <laughs> to my friend's knowledge today. Which friend has the middle name Muriel? Chandler thing. In the first episode of Friends, how does Monica get back at Paul the wine guy after he lies to her? She stomps on his watch. <laughs> Uh, oh, I've crossed that instead of ticked it. Uh, what fake name does Phoebe use when she wants to be anonymous? Regina Falange. <laughs> Such a great name. <laughs> uh, where did Carol first meet Susan? The gym or a yoga class. How did Ross and Carol come up with the name Ben? Oh, they get locked in a cupboard and Phoebe put on a boiler suit and the janitor's name was Ben on it. How long did Ross and Emily date for before they got engaged? Oh, like six weeks. It was really short. What did Rachel accidentally do to Mr Zellner in her job interview? Oh, she kissed him. <laughs> Rachel had a one-night stand with Pablo after Ross started dating who? Oh. oh, it was. It wasn't Emily. I can't think who he was dating. No, I don't know. Right, okay. I can't think of everyone he's dated. What was Gunther's job before he worked at Central Park? Perk, sorry. I hmm, don't know that either. Right, this is your last question, okay? Okay. How did Monica and Rachel convince Mr Trigger not to kick them out for illegal subletting? Joey have to ballroom dance with him. 
Okay, what we're going to do now is I will tally up these marks and I'll let you know what you okay. got out of 15, Zoe. So we're back with the scores. So out of 15, Zoe, you managed to get nine right. That's not too bad, bad, actually. It's more, more than half. More than half. Mm-hmm. Um, and there was a couple that you stumbled on. I thought, she knows this. And you just said to me there that you knew it was Julie. Julie. And Emily, who <laughs> Ross was dating. Uh-huh. Um, when did your sort of when did you start enjoying friends when did friends become like part of your life i'm gonna show my age now so i think i started watching it when season nine was on the telly right, and okay. when i was 15 i got my birthday money and went to glasgow and i went to is it zv i think it was called it's a uh-huh. dvd shop and i carried my friend's dvd bag I bought so you... 10 seasons and they bashed my shin the whole way home because they were in the big massive bag. They didn't have a smaller one. <laughs> and from then it's just been just constant. Yep. Mm-hmm. And are, am I right in saying you're going to a Friends, is it like an exhibition or show? Where's yeah, it? so it's Friends Fest. So you go there and it's like you go to the set of Friends and stuff. Shannon got me that for my birthday. So the 30th of July, fingers crossed, we can still go. <laughs> Well, that sounds exciting. I have I have once seen the Friends sofa um, and had a seat on that. And I don't know if it was the actual sofa, probably not. But mm, um, it was a remake and I did get some pictures on that. But I, I've got to say, it's Friends. I'm, I've watched it all, but it's never been my top. I, I'm really into Brooklyn Nine-Nine at the moment. Right, I haven't watched that, but I know the famous scene with the Backstreet Boys song. It is Backstreet Boys. Yes. It? Uh-huh. Yes, I know that one. So I'll, I'll, I think I'm going to re-watch Friends after this today. So mm-hmm. if there's any other Friends fans out there that were maybe playing along with us, um, young carers, please let us know what you got out of 15 because um, we'd love to know your score. So before we head off, Zoe, I think we should just remind everyone of our groups that we've got going on at the moment. Yeah. Um, so on a Monday night, we have a qu- quiz and craft night and that is from four to six and that's with me and Nicole. Uh, on a Tuesday night, we have a drama group from four to five with myself or it's Minecraft four to six and that's you and Ryan isn't it Zoe yep so mm-hmm. four to six with Ryan and Zoe on the Minecraft um, on a Wednesday Thursday is Fortnite four to six uh, and that's David and Ryan um, and if you're interested in coming along to any of these groups you can drop us a message in the comments send us a little email or give us a call and we will give you the Zoom links. As currently we're still on Zoom, but hoping hoping at some point not to be on Zoom, but for the foreseeable, yes. we're still there just now. So thank you so much for coming on to Zay and Zoe and um, doing our friends quiz and telling us about your friends obsession. <laughs> Um, we do have those pancake videos on the TikTok so give them a watch as well thank you, bye, bye just now